It's strange, isn't it? As it says, finished, timed out, which surely says that it's fine. I would prefer to remove the turbo, clock slightly the bracket on the cold side. You know, so then it's perfectly perpendicular because what happens, the rod is slightly at an, at angle. an angle. All we need is probably three hours mm -hmm. on the ramp, spare ramp. Or if everyone turned up for work, that'd be even better. Yeah, APC is hiring if you want a job. Please do. I think I see what you mean, but... Tiny adjustment will be a tiny adjustment, but it makes all the f difference. You know, you're not a millionaire without the quid, isn't it? Can I cut it? You do what you need to do, man. What are you cutting exactly? Nothing. Nothing. Oh. No! That's, oh, sorry. No. Oh. <laughs> I thought that's what you wanted. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, no cameraman here. What a solution. You cut a big chunk off. It will have to so go... That's yes. Straight now. Yeah, it has to go yeah. as straight as you, you mainly can. Damn! Damn deal, man. You see? Now, you need to have this perfectly perpendicular. Yeah. If we ain't, it might chafe, which I think was happening. That's why we had a mechanical whatever oh, function, yeah. Let's see how this gets on. Mm hmm Yeah, that moved. <clears throat> must be happier now. I don't know, I didn't see the smile. <laughs> So after the car passed its thousandth adaptation test of the actuator, I drove home for over an hour and got no EPC light. I was gassed. I thought, damn, we've actually finally sorted it until of course the light came back on. And we think that was because the actuator rod wasn't like locked in place. So it sort of moved, got into the wrong voltage range and then boom, of course, EPC light comes back on. But now once I would scan it using a Kali device or any other diagnostics thing you want to use, we got a different error code. It was no longer the mechanical malfunction. So all that was left to do now was dial in the actuator voltage, hopefully for the final time, get it locked in place so it doesn't change itself like it did earlier. And then we can do the data logs, send them off to the Colombian brother, and finally get our hands on the stage three remap. You're changing premises and you're not gonna tell me where you're going, yeah, but... <laughs> we tell you not. <laughs> when you're gonna put it on YouTube, you're gonna send me Facebook, it's gonna barely stick in I like the percentage though, 140. No, that I don't get. <laughs> Completely normal behavior. So... 3.7, mate. Bang on. on! That's what you wanna see. <laughs> Not quite. Soft limit is on. Yeah, still. The next day. Didn't we do it through auto tuner last time? No. Do it through VCDS as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Intake air temperature. Ah, yes. Yeah, engine speed RPM. What's this? The popcorn's ready. What's popcorn? That's the, the microwave. Nah, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know why she has a roof rack? Why? More bread rolls. More bread rolls. It's a good addition to have an oil temperature, but nobody. Nobody even looks at it, you know, people are... People, yeah. I don't think people know they have oil in them. What gear are we doing? Uh, fifth the... gear. Okay, let's go. Oh, f please. Put your foot to the floor if you don't mind. Yeah, it's flat to the floor. So it, it, it's boosting one bar, just just slightly under. Can you go right? And we can stop on the edge. Without telling anyone. Stop it, man. Floor it, floor it. That's third. It's one bar. But you know what? The intake temperatures are perfect, 26 degrees. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20. Okay, 27. Keep, keep going and keep pushing. Not going over 27 yet. 29. Redliner, redliner. Redliner! 
5600 and I'll be like a baby. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get to the chopper. Arnold's always watching, man. <laughs> Even in the shower. <laughs> mm. Get down now. <laughs> <laughs> That's KFC, no, no. No, KFC. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. And, and, and. Floor it and then. Yes. Six something. Air yeah, temperature, okay? 33. 60. 60? Nah. Uh, <laughs> From 33 to 60 there, real quick. No, 33. Yeah, we got to 70 there. How, how long last? Should I go straight? What would be like... Okay, what would be like a bad air intake temperature? Like... I don't know, over 60, I would start f warring slightly. Say when we send these off and the guy sends us like a higher boost map and we make, I don't know, 1.2, 1.3 bar. I think it's going will to be more the than air, that. Will the air temperatures go higher then? Theoretically, the they should go higher. But the more you compress, the hotter it gets. I'll save it then. I'm surprised, like, the clutch is still okay. So this is, like, not crazy power yet. This is, like, a very aggressive stage one. I must be around 200 brake anyway. This? Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. Because Scott's on one bar was 198. I'd on say probably. six bar, uh, 261, I might. October is quite nice on it. I, I love the sound of it. But it comes up early, boom, boom, done. Two and a half thousand RPMs doesn't make good. Go inside. Mate. Mm hmm. So, my friends, the data logs are finally completed. We've sent everything off to the Colombian guy. And yeah, we're just waiting to get the stage three map file back from him. I ain't got a clue how that's gonna be like and what other challenges we may or may not run into once we're running the car at much higher power. How much boost is it gonna be? I thought we're not gonna go above 1.2, 1.3 bar, but Bart reckons it's gonna be a lot more than that if we're aiming to get over 300 horsepower or even near about on like stock internals. I'll be happy with like anywhere near 300. Now though, the car is very good, mate. There is no EPC lights. I've been driving it, testing it. Even the air temperatures are somehow okay, which is insane. But then again, we are currently in like a winter season and the car is also not running at full boost. It's running at one bar. So we're likely making, at least Bart says, around 200 horsepower right now. So when the summer season comes around, we will almost certainly get an intercooler installed because we will likely start hitting very high air temperatures. And if we can avoid it with an intercooler, we may as well. Oh yes. <laughs> oh man, I love this thing. I genuinely can't wait to compare the quarter mile times and 0 to 60 times of this car when we get the stage three map file on here because we did actually take this car to santa pod running stage one slash stock power to find out sort of like a baseline figure for the quarter mile times for the 0 to 60 using a draggy and it'll be cool to see what this car can do with a stage three map file running nearly three times more power over stock it is gonna be insane mate i can't wait for this remap but if you guys want to find out what this car done the quarter mile time the 0 to 60 times because we did do about four drag races with the car, you can watch this video here. It was my first time at Santa Pod. Good time though. I cannot wait to go back there next year. I think it opens up in March or something.